I'm Chicano and this is Greece that's right country number 18 y'all I made it eager to try some Mediterranean food um Hitos, that's my best my favorite kind of food um my favorite Mediterranean food my second favorite European food overall number one is Bulgaria but today's video I want to talk to you guys about practicing gratitude yes yes indeed when I was um when I was in the barrio I couldn't imagine myself uh being here like I couldn't imagine like I wanted to but I never lost faith I would always say I wish I could get out of the country I wish I could go travel the world and here I am country number 18 had I had I just you know been stuck in the hood you know when I was at the Momo with that teener that teener of G hating life like if I would have gave up then and there and said you know what fuck it this is what this is what there is to do around here you know this is how everybody lives life in the hood you know if I would have gave in I would have never got to see any of this you know none of it so my my point is you got to practice gratitude and gratitude by gratitude I mean give thanks give thanks for everything you are you got be gracious for the people in your life be gracious uh for your your loving wife your supportive and loving wife your loving mother who raised you you know who gave you the life that that you have be grateful for god for you still being alive for you still having um for you still having that that want to change some people lose it but for whatever reason you still have it you still have it so that's what i mean when i say practice gratitude and look i want to show you guys something this is how i practice gratitude i write it down because you know what demons what they could do is they'll cloud your perception they'll cloud your perception and that's fact you know so oftentimes when we write stuff down you can go back and look at it and you and you see hey this is really what life's about whatever i'm seeing right now that cloud that that makes me feel like i'm like life's hopeless that cloud that makes me that makes me see my surroundings as all there is to life you can remove that that cloud by writing stuff down look imagine if i would have stopped believing you know imagine that i would have still been miserable look at all this write it down guys i wanted to see germany i did that i wanted to see costa rica i did that i wanted to see peru i did that i wanted to see bulgaria i did that spain i did that ireland i did that scotland i did that england i did that you know my point i could keep going my point is that i never i never lost touch with who i was there was people around me that were trying to tell me who i was you know even family members that were trying to define me neighbors that were trying to label me homies that would say this about me friends that would say that about me but i knew myself and you know how i knew myself through our lord and savior jesus christ you know what i practice now is gratitude i read the bible and i give thanks to god when i wake up thank you god thank you for another beautiful day as much shit that i did growing up i'm talking about smoking you know smoking sherm glass weed p dogs primos all that um i still have my health you know i i get a a, a physical full-on physical blood you know urine all that i get it all and i ask them to check for everything thyroid kidneys liver all that and i'm good guys i'm good this is in spite of being an alcoholic for a long time in my life i'm good do you know how special how good it makes me feel to say that do you know how much of a blessing that is gratitude that's why i give thanks to god i told I, god i'm i know i don't deserve this life but yet here you are I know I don't deserve this life, but yet here you are taking care of me. That's gratitude. When you wake up in the morning, whenever actually, 
you know when you're about to eat your dinner whenever grab your wife pull her to the side tell her thank you thank you for being here for me thank you for believing in me you know thank you for being loving just thank you for being you your kids the same thing let them know how much you love them you know your parents man we forget our parents so much because we get caught up in being a husband we get caught up in being a wife we get caught up more importantly and being a mother a father and you forget about your parents if it wasn't for your parents you wouldn't be in the position you're in now you know they're the ones that gave you life they're the ones that raised you sure it may not may not have been perfect you know especially for people like me that had immigrant parents it was difficult guys they came to a brand new country without knowing the language without knowing anything talk about immigrant poor immigrant poor is the poorest of poors because you can't get food stamps even though we could my dad would never accept it you can't get food stamps you can't get help from the government whatsoever so everything is a grind not only that but they don't have to pay you the minimum wage because you don't have papers so you get paid less than the average american think about that that's how i grew up those were my parents we were the poorest of the poor so if you have immigrant parents man you best be thankful man because they get they put in work they put in work to be right where you're at right now and you know what you may be like hey this life is is i don't i'm not happy where i'm at now but i'll tell you what better than where your immigrant parents were you know and that's fact and you have to be responsible for your own life but it starts with our lord and savior jesus christ like i said write it down y'all write it down look I'm, I always put everything that I'm grateful for. I couldn't even read it to you guys, you know? And I always say, go all in. Look at that. Go all in when you're living that God first lifestyle. That means all of the evils that are around you, do away with them. You know, it could be a, a deadbeat boyfriend. It could be a promiscuous um, girlfriend, you know? Promiscuous wife even. Oh, Lord forbid you have that. You know, but um, also no good homies. Homies that are bringing you down, no good friends. Friends that constantly want to go out and party and drink. Come on, man. That's really, grow up. You just, that's really what you want out of life. Let them be, man. Sometimes you even have to uproot. You have to uproot where you live and go somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? I, I argue that everyone has to do that. But especially if you came from an impoverished neighborhood like me. You got to uproot, move somewhere better. Work hard, invest. You know work hard save and invest simple as that so this is greece guys look get another glimpse of it country number 18 baby and with god's help i'm gonna go to 18 more so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i showed you guys how i do it how i show gratitude i write stuff down that helps me a lot so I, I suggest you guys do the same and when you uh when you're by yourself thank god for everything thank god for everything when when you have your wife there bring her to the side thank her for everything your kids your family members everybody just be grateful and always show gratitude all right guys late